Cowles next on the list and uh, in an effort to rehab my engine compartment. I removed the data plate. You know where the rubber bumpers are for these hood adjusters? I'd like to know. Can't find them anywhere. I removed the grill and I removed the wiper arms. I'm not going to put those back in. And uh, there's some remnants of the original weather stripping up on the cowl. There's the little clips that held it in. Pulled those out and I kind of made a note of which holes they were in so when I put the new weather stripping in I know where they goes. You know the base of the windshield looked pretty nice and I didn't see any evidence of any corrosion. Started sanding out the cowls from 150 grit and then worked my way down to 320. Sometime in the past a piece of the cowl was cut out so I had to make a new new part for the rain gutter. I think I used some 24 gauge steel and just JB welded it in place. Remove the upper fender bolts so I can get in underneath there and paint. And here down is where the wiper motor was and it's obviously the low part and uh, there was a little bit of corrosion in there and that's really the only corrosion I found. And I cleaned it up with some 60 grit and then 150 and then put a couple heavy coats of POR15 on it and should seal it up. Prime the cowl with some dark gray spray primer and uh, painted the cowl with the MPD eggshell black the same stuff I used on the firewall and it came out alright and it's really clean down inside so I was pretty happy about that and like I said before you know I didn't see any evidence of any corrosion at the base of the windshield so so that's good. I don't know what else I have coming, you know, in the rest of the car, but this area is pretty pretty clean. I cleaned the, the plastic grill with some Dawn dishwashing detergent and a nylon bristle brush. Put it back in place and it kind of completes that area. It looks pretty nice. I'll put the weather stripping in there after I repaint the inside of the fenders. I had a leak on the driver's side at the back so I put some new valve cover gaskets in and the valve covers have a one inch spacer for clearance for the roller rockers. And I use a set of Edelbrock gaskets and I use some uh, Permatex Ultra Black and put a light coating of Permatex on the gasket and set it in place and then the same with the spacer you know as I worked it up so each side had two gaskets then I placed the valve covers in place and just kind of snugged them down and let them sit for 24 hours let the Permatex cure a little bit. And after that I used some valve cover tabs to try to spread the load over the valve covers to get them clamped to, uh, to clamp down better. I made that crazy wire loom. And there's after 24 hours I tightened the valve covers down and a little bit of Permatex came out but you know I didn't goop it on too heavy. You know, the wires are in place and should be there permanently now as I go forward.